The Romanian Goliath, the tallest boxer in history, the tallest sportsman in the history of Romania. This is the story of Gogea Mitu. Be sure to leave a like on the video, it will help me a lot. Mitu was brought into the world on the 14th of July, 1914. Among his 10 siblings, he weighed the most and was the oldest. He had gigantism, a condition that, during the time between the wars, could either be a curse or a blessing disguised. Nobody knew in those days how this would ultimately steer his life. It remains debatable whether it was a blessing or a curse. Mitu's height proved to be like a cloud hiding silver lining over time. He started everything when he was just 17 years old. A Prague-based circus hired young Mitu for their show and began touring Europe in support of their Romanian giant. They were astonished and intrigued by his size. This addressed a turn in Mitu's life, the first of the numerous to come. Shortly after Mitu began gaining international fame for his height, the second turn occurred. Famous caravans wanted to show off the one-of-a-kind teenager more than ever before. There is no agreement over precisely the way that tall he was. He was said to be 2.44 meters tall by some. Others said he was 2.42 meters tall, while others said he was 2.5 meters or taller. Records, in any case, show that he was 2.36 m and, with such level, he stays right up to the present-day Romania's tallest athlete and the world's tallest fighter. Me Too planned to work as a circus man for the rest of his life after securing a high-paying position in a prestigious Monaco circus. Much to his dismay, changing in a matter of moments was about. He met Umberto Lancia, who would later become his coach on a sunny day. It was all history from that point on. Gogea Mitu finally made his boxing debut in 1935, aged 21, after spending four long and surprising years abroad and in the training room. His initial foe was his mentor. It was understandable that Mitu was frightening. There weren't many famous fighters who were brave enough to fight him head to head. So eventually, his most memorable match was conceivable simply because his mentor chose, without resistance, to enter the ring. The young man came out on top in the end. Therefore, his official debut was scheduled shortly thereafter, against Saverio Grizzo, the champion of Italy. The sports world was astonished by this success as well. In less than a month, Me Too would face the world champion, George Godfrey, as the sportsman's fame grew rapidly beyond continental borders. Because this was to be the very first man to teach Me Too what it was like to experience loss, if he could hear this name today, it probably would send chills down his spine. However, Me Too quickly forgot about the bitter taste of failure and returned to the sweet taste of victory. And this is no ordinary victory either. Dumitru Pavalescu, Romania's national champion, was formally defeated and unofficially deposed. The subsequent prize fights were all a mix of resounding victories and close ties, and Me Too needed this retribution to face what lay ahead. In Bucharest, his final opponent, who would prove fatal, would meet him in a hospital bed. It took place during his international tour, just as the young athlete was about to make his international debut. Having battled tuberculosis before throughout everyday life, his long-lasting disorder found his bustling timetable and made it incomprehensible for the athlete to proceed with his action. He was rushed to Romania, and bad luck caused him to catch a second cold while riding the train, which was thought to have been brought on by the cure in the train. This made his condition worse. On June 22, 1936, Gogea Mitu's final bell tolled. Complications of tuberculosis cruelly took this young man's promising life and career away when he was just 22 years old. However, many would disagree with that. Family and friends were quick to reject the doctor's verdict, suggesting that the sportsman's death was the result of a plot devised by bookmakers and his rivals. As a general rule, such legends are unwarranted, for Gogea Mitu had been experiencing difficulties because of tuberculosis his whole life, and regardless, bookmakers had only benefit over the matches Mitu battled. A promising boxer was lost to the world, 
and Romania lost its tallest sportsman ever. One of the most tragic and abrupt farewells in Romanian sports history, despite the controversy surrounding his death. And that's all I know about Gogea Mitu. If you want to watch some more interesting statries, click on these videos. Thank you all for watching. Take care.